we know that Sony is very committed to expanding their universe of Spider-Man characters. Not only did we have two Venom films, of course we got Morbius coming up and way more Spider-Man films as well. Well, we're hearing that Black Hat is back on the table, and this time they want the one and only Anya Taylor-Joy to play Felicia Hardy. Do you hear that? It's as if a thousand cinephiles online just screeched. We know for a fact that Sony is very much committed to making their Spider-Man universe without Spider-Man, or how they're going to handle it in each film, a thing. Black Hat and Silver Sable was originally supposed to be their second film following Venom. That, of course, ended up um, seeing a lot of uh, turmoil, trouble, development, um, whatever you will. Like Every single time they seemed to make some progress, they would get set back a little bit. And then it was indefinitely shelved, literally before it was supposed to start shooting at one point. We already know that they tested actresses in the suit. That was confirmed by the former director. So what happens next? Who really knows? But if the rumors are true and they've been spreading on the internet recently like wildfire, Anya Taylor-Joy is apparently who they want to play Felicia Hardy. Now, I look at this in two different ways. One, they want her because she brings the... Uh, the, the film critic, the Twitter film fan, the cinephile into the seats. It doesn't matter what she's in, they're going to watch it. And they will say it's one of the best things that year. Chances are they have her in their avatar. You guys have seen these people. That's what they do. Um, Nothing against her. She's a great actress, given a good role. Was she good in New Mutants? Ew. But then you put her in something good like Witch, and yeah, you get a stellar performance. So... Her is Felicia Hardy, her is Black Cat, I think could work depending on how, and this is the very um, important part, how you decide to approach Felicia Hardy as a character. I think if they were to go more, she's like a Sam Fisher style splinter cell without focusing too much on the over the top sex appeal and letting her do good acting, I think you got a combo here for victory that's a guaranteed hit. If they try to push her too much into the standard black hat over sexualized version i honestly don't think she fits that role in that type of way just because when you look at that version of black cat there's a um there's a distinct few things going on in there that um yeah might not work and therein lies the issue because this is sony i think they could try to push it too far one way or the other and forget the other half of Black Cat. You know, um, it's very interesting how they would be handling this. I'm all up for this film because I've been wanting a Black Cat film forever. And I just want them to hopefully get the character right. There's some important moments in Felicia's life that make her who she is, that if you shy away from them, you don't have the character of Felicia Hardy Black Cat. Unfortunately, that includes over-sexualizing her and going into a part of a comic book film that I don't think they would be comfortable showing because if you show it, kids aren't going to see it because their parents are going to freak out and demand uh, this film be removed. So it's a tough one with Black Cat. It, it always is.